If you've got incredibly poor taste and can't operate the internet, you may occasionally at this time of the morning, on a weekday morning, be watching the state broadcaster, uh, known to English-speaking speak, people as Television New Zealand. I'm not sure what it is in Māori, but we're going to find out soon enough. Well, um, yesterday morning, uh, and I'll just describe the breakfast show for you, it makes no pretense of, of enriching your mental life or making accurate or fair commentary on politics or life in general in New Zealand. It is basically a bunch of millennials flouncing around and ads in between that make money for TVNZ. It has no redeeming features in terms of information or reflection that doesn't have any journalistic integrity. It is fronted by some gay weatherman who cannot stop banging on about his wedding on social media and has a whole lot of side gigs for promoting products and places on the internet. There's this Māori chick who used to play netball um, and a couple of other people who honestly names I do not know. One of them, one of the guy looks like he's only just started shaving and some chick. So that's your breakfast uh, lineup. I don't know who produces it, but from what we saw yesterday, they're morons. Um, because part, one of the segments yesterday on breakfast, they were flogging, and I don't know if they were being paid to do it, a gun, I think, that shoots salt and gets rid of ants. Yeah, huge demand for the old salt gun uh, in New Zealand. So they were promoting this thing, and they thought they would test it in the studio by getting a Donald Trump doll and shooting Donald Trump on air. And then they encouraged everyone else to get one of these guns and a Donald Trump doll and shoot them. Now, I'm pretty sure, though I do not follow them at all closely, in fact, I don't think I've ever seen Breakfast apart from the outrage I've seen on the internet yesterday, I'm pretty sure they are the sort of people and it's the sort of program that is really down with the she was hounded by office by nasty male chauvinists. I'm pretty sure that's what Breakfast editorial policy would be. And it seems a little hypocritical to me that this band of misfits then take a living person who happened to hold probably the highest political office in the world, President of the United States, and use what could be described as an offensive weapon to mock shoot him. And they encourage other people to do that. And there has been outrage, outrage from all sorts of people at this incredible lack of editorial judgment. Well, look, I'm not surprised at that. It's not like Breakfast is a news show or has any real integrity or morals. And my initial reaction was, how would the people at TVNZ feel, how would Simon Power, the chief executive of TVNZ, feel if it had been a Jacinda Ardern doll, on a cross, of course, um, a Jacinda Ardern doll getting shot with a salt gun? Would that have been OK? But why is it OK if it's a Donald Trump doll. And then I sat, actually, on the way to work this morning, I thought, who could you shoot with a salt gun, an effigy, and it be OK? And I did come up with someone. Adolf Hitler, he's already dead, or in the modern context, Vladimir Putin. you done a Vladimir Putin doll, you could shoot him with a salt gun. That would probably be all right. But in any case, whether it was John, Jonathan Hunt, St Jacinda... Vladimir Putin, Adolf Hitler, the whole thing. What everyone's missing is how silly that is. How silly the whole thing of shooting a salt gun. And people presumably paid and described as presenters and journalists and broadcasters being such dicks on air. Okay? That's really the problem. And that's, don't forget, that's the state television broadcaster and the one that receives millions and millions of dollars from the government to be woke. So I think we let, I think it's called breakfast on one. Let's leave that lie and they can just quietly reflect. Of course, Simon Powell's not going to apologise. No one's going to be held accountable for that piece of stupidity. And my only recommendation is if you don't like it, the platform is here. The platform is here to have more fun and speak more sense. All right, speak way more sense um, than that.